The family that prays together stays together. I'm Brother John Bailanda of the Congregation of Holy Cross. I want us to reflect on how to benefit most from the Eucharist. The Eucharist or the celebration of Holy Mass is rich in flavor and content. By flavor, I refer to the setting, the gestures, the conversational responses, the give and take exchanges, the music, the silence, and above all, the diversity of the congregation. The content consists in the specific scripture readings, the selected prayers, the blessings, and the Eucharistic nourishment. To benefit most, you and I need to acknowledge certain elements. I suggest a few. First, prepare for Holy Mass. Have time to switch off other distractions, voices, scents, and colors. It helps to be in a place of worship at least 10 minutes early and to carefully focus attention. Focus. Like a young man headed to meet and propose to a young lady, state your intention ahead of time. You could access the readings of the day and reflect on them. Go to Mass with the questions. What is it I wish to tell the Lord? How do I wish to be blessed? Third, be open intentioned. You will need to focus on the readings, Jesus' word, the preaching, the offertory you make in your prayer, the Eucharist you will receive in person. But there is the flavor of the church environment, the actions and the people around you. These two can teach you and bless you. Once during a feast of Uganda matters at Namgongo Shrine in Kampala, I stood for four hours in one spot during the festive mass, the over one million congregation overwhelmed me. I felt a pilgrim in the right place, the throng wild with joy. Fourth, the celebration of Holy Mass is rich with scriptural quotes. You know the Our Father, the Holy Holy, the Gloria all come from the scriptures. But very personal quotes too. For instance, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. These should evoke special, special moments to cherish in your relationship with the Lord. The Eucharist is a communal experience. We connect and join the life experiences and joys and struggles of the community. And besides receiving the physical body and blood of Christ, or if you don't receive, we enter into the spiritual communion with the Lord, with the angels, and the saints. And so we come out of the Eucharist, of the celebration, enriched with that intention that we have offered to the Lord and with that blessing that we have received from the Lord. With the connection we have made with other people and with the intent to go out and minister. The family that prays together stays together. The Lord be with you.